while you while you focusing to the sound mentally relax your body and relax your mind and relax your breathing gently close your eyes please नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् So dear Dhamma friends, when it comes to Patris meditation, especially for beginners, you have to remember we have to go step by step. And it's like uh, you get into the ocean. You don't jump to the the deeper level in very very first day so same like in the beginning you have to find uh, the way little by little to enter to the the patris so even for the elder elders also the whoever used to patris this meditation whoever that uh, seniors also this is important and everybody because you should know the path so for that especially when it come to this meditation our main purpose is understanding the mind so that is the the wisdom that we gain seeing our mind itself so getting to that first we have to to make our mind usable. So for that, we have to use the tranquility meditation or the Samatha med meditation, Chitta Bhavana. So from there, once the mind settled down, then you use the mind, go deeper to see the very nature of the mind, which we call Vipassana Bhavana or Panya Bhavana inside meditation. So, when it comes to tranquility meditation, why we have to, to calm down our mind? Because in the very first level, the very nature of the mind always go here and there. And jumping, moving here and there. The very nature is always connecting with something connecting with something but in when it develop when you develop the tranquility state of meditation and you start to settle down and become tranquilized itself and stay with less thought or the less information and without getting into many many thoughts so the thoughts also always interdependent but in tranquility state you make it kind of like a, when it come to tranquility state the very nature of the mind it is start to become independent without interdependent it become independent so getting to that we use mental object so without a mental object we cannot get into that and there are some 
teachings it say just closing your eyes and then just let the mind to to calm down if you can do so that is good but if you cannot do that because once you close your eyes or even open your eyes just thinking about uh, calm down mind it not going to calm down itself because that 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 also a, a thought so when you use the thoughts to calm down the thoughts it's kind of like uh, you you pour the water to calm down the water so it's not going to happen so that's why we need a mental object so when it come to mental object we follow the inhalation exhalation so following inhalation and exhalation when you have this mental object the meditation is not a kind of like a fancy expensive thing look you can it's so now within inhalation exhalation you can practice anywhere it is anytime available and it it doesn't take any any kind of that the payments is uh, completely free and uh, 24 7 available so if you look deeply that practicing meditation is uh, very it is very cheap it's not it's not expensive but meditation the word became very big marketing word today and uh, kind of like a retreat so the the programs so sometimes they it, they are very expensive but if you really get into the the method of this meditation you 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 no need that anything you no need to go anywhere even you need, no need to find find exact time period you no need to pay anything only one thing that you need desire to do that intention to do that effort to do that that's it so and at the same time be comfortable yourself and uh, other thing is you cannot get tired out of meditation so you no need any extra energy or the vitamins or anything like that so the meditation itself especially when it comes to tranquility meditation you you calm down without doing anything so if without kind of like uh, giving the energy you you let that everything to settle down that is why are you really going to become strong so you have to always remember this benefit that you can gain out of this meditation especially when you're contemplating the inhalation exhalation so and if you uh, if you follow the music or the if you follow any kind of icon or something so even the buddha statue also a mental object candlelight also mental object but you cannot have it 24 7 anywhere see that disadvantage there but the breathing is not like that it's available so that's why keep practice little by little little by little whenever you have time and also no need to go in the beginning no need to go for long period just keep it short deep solid make it very quality time period for that even one minute enough just completely 100 percent done it and know any kind of up and down so that way you expand the quality of your patris your mental patris so with that just bring a remember to focus your mind in front of your nose and your upper lip area and then observe the inhalation exhalation itself and let it happen and when it happen recognize this is inhalation this is exhalation so it is already there only thing you recognizing that is it 
you not doing anything just you see and then recognize when you see when you look watch you recognize it and then follow the entire continuation of the inhalation exhalation and then some inhalation become longer shorter heavy soft just see it and observing recognizing without doing anything letting everything to settle down and be that allow your inhalation exhalation to to happen itself is the best way to tranquilize your mind in this practice and once the mind tranquilizes from there we go to to vipassana in the vipassana level mainly there are four kind of techniques and there is another vipassana call then in that vipassana 18 steps that all the impermanent uh, selflessness uh, part by part uh, that it take and observe but mainly that uh, this four foundation kaya anupassana chitta anupassana vedana anupassana dhamma anupassana so today we going to observe the chitta anupassana observing the mind so when you observe the mind that mean you observe the thoughts and the, all the names and the forms arise in you so then when you observe that allow it to happen don't have any effort just allow it to happen and when it happen just recognize so whatever appear to your mind just allow and recognize it and don't go with it don't add any other thoughts to understand it so like we we add some thoughts sometimes when one thought arise we bring more other thoughts it's like a toolbox sometimes when one thought come that's what we call thinking we have a toolbox and then we use other all the tools to analyze this one one thing and so as example when we see the pen we see the pen then we start to look at what is this pen why this is black and if why it doesn't have any push button here like this so why they put uh, only just a simple word here so like that you bring some unnecessary thought no you just recognize this is a pen that's it don't don't put any other thoughts on it so like that hmm? whatever appear to your mind just let it let it to be there and don't interfering with it don't disturb to it and it will go away it not going to be there there is no mind that the thought going to be there maybe you see it it like that but it 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 going maybe you see the shadow of the thought you not going to see the the original arising because it go away so then just knowingly that just see recognize so whatever sound arise maybe thought arise with that sound just recognize that sound and stay then when something else come let it go and then you go with it and then maybe something else related to past or the future come just observe in the surface level observe that and relatively you recognizing this soul and the deeper level ultimately that how you can observe the thoughts deeper thoughts is in the beginning you see kind of like the surface level of the water but the deeper there are some thoughts not all the thoughts some thoughts when that thought arise there is a deeper connection to your past so once you see it that seeing itself disconnect it you don't go with it so that is what again and again again and again so just so let the let things to happen but observe and don't try to interfere with it and completely breathe, be free yourself and uh, then observe then you will see that mind is itself is you
So your right palm on your left, neck head straight in one line and be comfortable with your posture. And scan head to toes three times yourself and say so patveva or may I be well and happy three times. Take a moment and think. We gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom. So we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge. In this moment, with this sitting, may my body become more comfortable. May my breath be more smooth. May no difficulties come to me. May all the success come to me. Also think for a moment. This is the last moment we are spending in this very lifetime. And detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment. Observing the the thoughts come to your mind. So in the beginning, bring your attention to the lower part of your body and observe the sensation. Just recognize it. and your lower back. And your upper back and shoulders. Arms, elbow, forearms, palms, fingers, fingertips. in your chest and your abdominal muscles and abdominal area. In your neck and head.
and observe your whole body as one. Bring attention to in front of your nose and your upper lip area and deeply and gently breathing, breathe out three times and find the sensation, please. And allow your inhalation, exhalation to happen itself. And recognize this is inhalation, this is exhalation. Follow the entire continuation of the inhalation and exhalation. Some inhalation become longer, shorter, heavy, soft, warm, cold. Just recognize it. Drop the details, go with your inhalation, exhalation, just get into the thoughts and just observe your thoughts. Don't interfere with anything. Don't make any comments. Don't add any thoughts. Just see how things change how thought change and disappearing. And recognize the impermanent inherent 
within each and every inner, inner thoughts. Bring attention to your body. And observe your posture. We cultivate loving kindness and compassion in our heart and radiate it as a light through your compound, village, city, state, country, world, around this universe and as far as you can through galaxies, other planets, stars. Reminding yourself like this. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy.
May all living beings be well and happy and safe. And may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Beings who are frail or strong, tall or short, big or small, visible or not visible, near or far away, already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart. Forward. Visualize yourself and send it as a light. To your backside, to your left side, so little by little try to expand yourself. To your right side. Downward. And upward. To all six directions at once, like the moon, the sun, spread the light, spread the energy, without any condition, without any limitation, without any resistance or without any judgment. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it, with the maximum effort to the highest. Wishing yourself, may all living beings in this universe be well and happy.
के साधु साधु सो डियर धम फ्रेंड्स एस यू नो इन दिस पाथ ऑफ द विस्डम we have intention to come to a point to understand this everything impermanent so it's kind of like a reach to the the highest level to experience emptiness this emptiness is a kind of like a word that we use for material things and uh, but when it come to deeper vipassana level of meditation that uh, it is not important this this outside material things that much there are things filled in our mind with names and forms defilements mental formations which we call sanskara which we call memory so how then this memory come how something become memory is it possible for you to experience something without recording that is where you going to experience the real emptiness it is not about uh, thinking oh this is four elements or oh, this one and uh, then one day this going to disappear like that you thinking you thinking to get out of this and thinking that you practicing emptiness oh i have to keep this away how to keep this away how to keep this away so when it come to mind if i have the resistance with this to separate this that's mean deeply inside i am trying to secure and protect something from this that is what mostly people do by practicing emptiness they separate something to protect something and they create the gap and then when they have that gap they think oh that is empty but when it come to the vipassana level of emptiness you experience something with your eye ear nose tongue body and the mind without recording when you when you don't record so as example you you record this talk and then what is happening any time you can go and you can keep listening to it why because it already record so if you don't record you cannot even though you want you cannot go and listen to it you don't have it so from eons by eons in the sansaric journey what happened we when we experience something we addicted to record inside us if you in in a conventional life if you able to experience something without recording you get depressed forget about the enlightenment or the forget about wisdom in conventional life you get depressed because that much this addiction and come to us and that is where this all the 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 phones that the cell phone became more popular not because of that the, you can make a phone call no the cell phone became more popular when the cell phone had the camera and wherever people go people start to take pictures and start to record and see that in a in a that uh, the behavior 
we use through the, the tools. Now we use these tools to secure our memory. So you go for a vacation. So the vacation itself means you, you break the, the pattern. That means you, you come out of the, the whatever the, you keep doing in every day and then you, you completely become a new person in new experience. You go to a new environment to experience something. But when you go there, so in the beginning, it, it just the action become a vacation. But once you start to record it, and you record it, so while you're recording what is happening, you lose the ability to experience the moment. Why? Because you, you're doing recording. Then you lose the moment. As example, you recording now like this, holding your phone and then maybe in case, so you go to very beautiful place and very nice. That's the first time you went there. And then now you want to get a selfie or you want to get a, you know, the video and you get a phone and then you push the button and then maybe the battery low, you forget to charge. And so maybe the porn stuck, the memory pull. And then you push the, keep pushing the buttons, maybe it doesn't work. So what is happening in that very moment? In that very moment, you get angry, disappointed, mad, sad, worried, unhappy. See? You make the plan to go to very brand new place, so beautiful, you are already there in that very moment. But still, the habit that you have, this recording habit, and come and then you try to use these tools to record. And then, and so then what happened? There is a fear. Because in this very moment when you lose the, the experience, there is a fear. That's why mostly people get into this recording. So when, the, when you have the fear, you forget very easily. And again and again that you forget very easily, then have the fear. Once you forget, then again the, the fear become more stronger, more stronger, more stronger. When there is no memory, and then the fear rise. So this go like a pattern. So then in, 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 when you look for emptiness, that is, the, that is our goal, experience that emptiness. So the very first thing for that, rather than pointing out to outside or try to make that thinking or, you know, patricing thing that the doing many other methods to, to get out of these outside things, the very first thing that you have to remember that who there is an intention inside you related with the self. I want to be free. So when you able to take out that I, you are already free. There is nothing. Forget about this world. This world keep happening. Even the 6 billion years, more than 6 billion years, this keep happening. And it come back again, eons by eons, this entire universe. And becoming again and again. You cannot get out of this, this outside world. But the only thing is, the, there is something inside us. I, I have to be free. So rather than struggling with that outside, if you are able to look inside and in that very moment that you're going to be free. So the, that's the, that the wisdom or the freedom inherent in, in you and you look inside, uh, you look outside. So there was an old TV ad, the elephant 
in the in the house and sitting on the couch and uh, and the people people go here and there and they don't they don't get disturbed out of the elephant they don't see the elephant they don't see no one see the elephants and uh, and at the same time they go they go outside and see the footprints and they recognize the footprint outside in their yard garden but they don't see the elephant inside sitting with them in the same couch so the same like this emptiness is within yourself inherent but you don't see it you look outside and you like when somebody no hair or oh, very good and the less material or oh, very good sadhu sadhu you know even no slippers you know even they look that the, in india you know the kumbha mela the one of the biggest festival in the world you know and all the the, the naked sadhus from you know uh, high mountain areas himalayas rishikesh everybody come and people go all over the people apply to get the blessings and they thinking oh if you become less material that is good and sometimes remember when your ego become high when you have the bigger ego also and you no need any material when your ego become bigger 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 stronger you know sometimes you no need any people around you you can you can live yourself and that's how the the people divorce when the when one person become ego become high that person don't think about the children that person don't think about the husband or the wife and the parents and the, the other people they don't care see when the ego become high also you can be alone then so then you have to be be mindful when you look for freedom what do you mean by freedom one what do you mean by freedom so in that freedom you going to be the self centered and you going to secure that self, self or the idea of i am and oh you have you try to get out of in the buddhism that is where we point out that is where we go in the vipassana level deeper 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 you go and see where the self rather than secure it what rather than protect it hold it and lock it we go to the 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 bottom of the self and destroy it and destroy it mean recognize that is a, that is a just that is just a thought so this everything thoughts that's why when it come to chitta anupasana when you observe the thought you recognize it and thought arises itself no 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 any reason for some thoughts it's come that is the very nature of the world that's why when you see the mind you see the world when when you understand the mind you understand everything so when you see how the thought arise the thought just come and then you see when you see that you not going to become so that the put kind of like a validation or and you not going to kind of like a fascinate regarding things around you sometimes and do you know how many things came to this world this human hands as tools by mistake by mistake there are a lot of things came to world and people used that things in the beginning it not somebody invented it not somebody found it by mistake it they found it like tea like wine chocolate so that kind of things in the beginning of the history the it not people found out mostly the food circle that we found by mistake it came to us 
So then we put a valid validation. And then, and it, it sometimes it is wrong, but we still hold it. Like, uh, like uh, Sri Lanka, India, like, uh, you know, the, the, this British colonies, they, they used to be. So they are British, they are the one who invent that introduced this tea. So now tea is a main, one of the, one part of our culture, main, main thing. But when, when British, English people, when they drink tea, they don't drink plain tea. Why? Because it brings the gas. What they do, they add a little bit milk to reduce the, 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 the gas. But the, in our countries, we, we don't have milk. We don't use that. So even though we have it sometimes, we don't mix it. Mostly we don't we mix with the tea. We just drink it. And then a lot of people, but still they hold it as a part of the culture. See how it came. It just came to world and now it became a part of the culture. If you look very carefully, a lot of things in, the, in, in our life, we use like that, no reason. In the beginning it came to us, no reason. But later we start to think, as I mentioned, that toolbox, you have a toolbox. It is eons, eons, eons older. You have many history in there. You can make any reason out of anything. So then you reason it. Once you reasoning it, it's going to be. So the Chitta Anupasana is the cutter, the tool going to destroy that. How? Because when you see, you recognize your own thought, it arises, it goes away. And you, not, you are not interfering to that, you are not empowering it. And you see how it arises and how it goes. That is real, that is where you really recognize what is emptiness in your mind. It's nothing to do with this world, nothing to do with destroying these things or throwing these things or emptying these things. But deeper, how you deal with your thoughts. In the middle of the desert, that you can be so busy with thinking. But in the big, in the middle of the big crowd, if you have less thoughts, so if you see the art of this arising and changing and disappearing and moving, and you can be, you can find your peace, you can find your emptiness. So then always remember, especially when it comes to emptiness, be very careful. Don't, don't separate your ego from other things or the self from other things and put uh, in a secure safe. And that is not emptiness. It is itself sansara. You have everything. But if you are able to and observe and recognize little by little how these thoughts come. Because the, the, the most powerful tool that we have related to the self is thoughts. Consciousness, awareness, pain, and the body, this everything is related to the thought. So when you go to the bottom and see how the thought arising and changing, 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 and you recognize there is no any, any single thought separately exist itself and, and in a in, in permanent way. If there's nothing. So once you recognize that, you recognize the nature of the self and then, and whoever, whatever do around you, it's not going to disturb you. Why? Because you know, and sometimes it just happened. They have no idea what it is. Why? Because now you see the mind. You recognize the mind. And you know it comes and it goes. And so once you see it, how the thoughts behave, so whatever happened around and whatever other people say sometimes, you're not going to worry about it that much. 
and that is where you not even you don't going to take it to you then that is where you deeply that emptiness you experience with the the around us see there how much how how much people you know how many people they do many things they say many things and they around us and finally and you recognize they are empty so the the you recognize the truth but you recognize the truth in the in a wrong way in a different way that's why you recognize it with the self centered idea otherwise what you recognize it is important you recognize when somebody you know always kind of like uh, act like rich and sometimes you know be very poor and then you say is empty man empty man and sometimes people say many things and they cannot stand for their words and sometimes we say they are empty they have they don't have any any kind of value or the the ethics or the the qualities in in their life so sometimes we say they are empty of course that everything like that but you no need to be disappointed about it we also the same and the an enlightenment means the nibbana means and finally you come to a point you get out of that idea also and the the final point when you reach to the complete wisdom that you get out of that the word wisdom also so that is the highest level of becoming empty because holding nibbana you cannot become empty you you hold it to that even as a the thought so like that all then remember a little bit deeply and see and recognize we look for emptiness we like for emptiness we we practice for emptiness but if you do it with the self centered mind you will never find it it just become only struggle so then little by little little by little start to recognize when it come to the moment to observe and just see what you experience the observer and the subject and the object that both everything is moment by moment moment by moment go away and practice yourself in day to day life to experience something without recording in that very moment you reach to the emptiness you experience without recording you hear without recording you face for things and you go for things without recording and that way always you keep the emptiness in you so with that i bless upon everyone with this good practice may all of you be well happy and peaceful may no harm come to you may no difficulties come to you may no problems come to you may you also have the patience courage understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life during this time period may everyone stay healthy and safe and finally may all of you attain supreme bliss of nibbana sabbhityo vajjantu sabbaro govinasatu mate bhavattantarayo suki bika yuto bhava ettavata cha me hi sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva anumodantu sabba sampatti siddhiva sabbe bhuta anumodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya sabbe satta anumodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya idam me punya kammanga savakya vahamotu sabba dukkha pamuntu Yes, sir.